With rumors of divorce swirling, you wouldn't think now would be the best time to post a breakup song to Instagram, but that's not stopping Jennifer Lopez. This is the news that we all could see coming. As you mentioned, the speculation around Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck has been swirling for months, but this morning, the timing sending a real statement. Did you hear the latest about Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck? It looks like one of Hollywood's most talked about couples is calling it quits again. After months of speculation and rumors swirling around their marriage, J-Lo has officially filed for divorce from Ben Affleck. It's been quite a roller coaster year for J-Lo, and this latest turn of events is just the cherry on top. The couple, who famously rekindled their romance two decades after their initial engagement, seem to be living out a fairy tale comeback story. But now, it appears that happily ever after wasn't in the cards for Benifer 2.0. Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck, after months of speculation, the pair are calling it quits. The singer filing for divorce after two years of marriage, exactly. Let's take a walk down the timeline leading up to this dramatic divorce filing. The first whispers of trouble in paradise began shortly after the Met Gala earlier this year. Now, for those who don't remember, J-Lo was a co-chair at this year's gala. A big deal, right? But guess who was notably absent from her side? Yup, Ben Affleck. People were quick to notice and speculate about why Ben wasn't there to support his wife on such a high-profile night. It was the first red flag, the first sign that maybe things weren't as perfect as they seemed behind the scenes. One thing I can say about Jennifer Lopez is, if nothing, she's consistent. This is who ah, Jennifer is. And I right. feel like she stands in the woman that's a hopeless romantic, that loves to share her love. Um, I, I feel like this is who she is, and asking her to change is... But God. love is also you know I mean? different the second time around, don't you think? I would think, but not her. We tried, we tried, we tried, because we had kids. And then we said, we don't, both of us felt like we don't want this to be the model that our kids see of marriage. Then, just weeks after the Met Gala, paparazzi spotted Jay low house hunting, alone. And not just casually browsing either, she was seriously looking at new properties. This move got everyone talking. Why would J-Lo be out searching for a new house when she and men had just recently bought what they described as their dream home? This led to even more speculation that there was trouble brewing. Some insiders suggested that maybe she was just checking out investment properties, but the timing was suspicious, to say the least. Adding fuel to the fire, there were more public appearances, or rather, a lack thereof. Ben and J-Lo were rarely seen together in the months following the Met Gala. When they were spotted, they were almost always wearing their wedding rings, a subtle but noticeable effort to quell the rumors. And there were a few attempts to show a united front, a couple of trips to the farmer's market, a family event or two. But these seemed more like damage control than genuine displays of affection. There's a story that I'm surprised that I am as interested in as I as I am. This is the rumor, now months-long rumors, of a divorce between Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez. We grew apart. We had a marriage that didn't work. This happens. There's somebody I love and respect, but to whom I, I shouldn't be married any longer. In fact, those in the know suggested that Ben had already moved out of their shared home by this point. Paparazzi frequently caught him leaving a different property, one that wasn't the mansion they had so lovingly purchased together. Yet, J-Lo still posted a Sweet Father's Day tribute to Ben in June, calling him our hero. It was a puzzling move given the circumstances, but perhaps it was another attempt to keep the public in the dark about the true state of their relationship. Despite all these efforts, it was becoming increasingly clear that the couple was headed for Splitsville. Sources close to the pair revealed that they were struggling to keep their marriage afloat. According to Entertainment Tonight, a source claimed that Ben and Jen don't want to get divorced, but their relationship is simply not working. At this point, they aren't done yet and want to fix things because they love each other, but they are also both unhappy. It seemed like an uphill battle, and unfortunately, one they couldn't win. Fast forward to this week, and the news broke that J-Lo had officially filed for divorce. She chose August 20th as the date to file, an oddly significant date as it marked the second anniversary of their lavish wedding ceremony in Georgia. A deliberate choice, absolutely. It's hard not to see it as a calculated move on her part, perhaps sending a message that she was ready to close this chapter of her life on a day that was once filled with so much hope and promise. That heartbreak to both of us on a course to figuring ourselves out and to being better people. Do you think you've forgiven me all the way? Yeah, I think I've forgiven you all the way. I think I need to forgive myself some things. To add another layer of complexity, she listed the date of separation as April 26th, aligning perfectly with when those pesky divorce rumors first began circulating. Talk about a woman who knows how to control the narrative, but the drama doesn't end there. Oh no, not by a long shot. One of the juiciest bits to come out of this whole situation is the revelation that J-Lo and Ben did not sign a prenuptial agreement before tying the knot. Surprising, right? If in fact Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck 
don't have a prenuptial agreement, they've just created a lot of trouble for themselves. They're going to need attorneys, they're going to need accountants to comb through all the financial records. And even though it's only two years, they've each made a significant amount of money in these last two years. Given that this was J-Lo's fourth marriage and Ben's second, you'd think they would have been more cautious, especially considering their combined net worth, which reportedly sits at around $640 million. With no prenup in place, all their earnings and assets accumulated during their nearly two-year marriage are considered community property. This means things could get very messy very quickly. And it's interesting to note here, J-Lo filed for divorce in L.A. County Superior Court pro per or without an attorney. So it will be really curious to see how this plays out hmm. legally. Without an attorney? Without an attorney. And, and no prenup. Right. And on oh, their wedding anniversary. That. And on their wedding anniversary. <laughs> right. Wow. Perhaps more to come, Eva. Rumors are already swirling that Ben is furious, feeling blindsided and worried about being left financially vulnerable. Some sources close to the actor claim that he's concerned J-Lo might leave him high and dry, especially since she's the bigger earner between the two. While he's no pauper, let's not forget, Ben's net worth is a cool $150 million. J. Lo's business empire dwarfs his with a reported net worth of around $400 million. Friends of the actor suggest he's feeling humiliated, particularly since he'd been optimistic about making things work and never expected J. Lo to pull the rug out from under him quite so publicly. Oh, like this is going to solve everything. Right. And it doesn't. It gives them a whole different set of issues yeah. that they have to work out. And, you know, it's just about, I just think that life is kind of beautiful that way and that it balances out yeah. for everybody and everybody has their struggles and everybody has their journey to walk and you think it's going to be one thing and it's another thing and it has twists and turns and all you can do is like love each other through it. As if that wasn't enough, there are whispers that the ongoing financial negotiations have turned increasingly acrimonious. According to TMZ, the couple has been trying to hash out a settlement for months, but things have gotten so tense that there have been periods where they're not even on speaking terms. It seems that every day brings a new round of rumors about who's getting what, with neither party willing to back down. Some insiders speculate that J. Lo might even be trying to take Ben for half of his earnings, claiming she covered most of their marital expenses. The idea of splitting everything right down the middle doesn't sit well with either of them. And it's becoming a game of who can outmaneuver whom. And so you just kind of have to come to terms with that and just feel like, well, you know, we don't put anything out there. It's not like we're out there. As you say, it's the first time we've ever been interviewed together, and that's because we're in a movie together. Right. It's not like we want to kind of, you know, show and tell Martha Stewart and kind of yeah, be like, this is like our sitting our room. Right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's like, well, that we is do it, like you. you know? But let's take a step back for a moment. Could it be that this divorce filing is more than just the end of a marriage? Some are suggesting that it could also be a strategic peer move on J-Lo's part. After all, she's been having a bit of a rough year in the public eye. Her latest album, movie, and even a documentary all focused on her love story with Ben were not received as warmly as she might have hoped. Some critics went as far as to call them cringeworthy, saying that there was hardly any hype around them. A lot of hate, but not a lot of height. But not a lot of hype. Could filing for divorce on their wedding anniversary be her way of reclaiming the narrative and shifting public perception? Look, I think you gotta try to keep it up. People will make it up. I mean, there's, it up. there's things that we want, obviously, that we would keep private. We want to keep the day about our family and about us and about what we're doing and the commitment we're making. That's what it's about that day. And everything else, you know, the details of the wedding and what gets out and what doesn't, I I won't obsess over it, you know, because I just think it, it'll, it will take away from the specialness of what the day is supposed to be. It wouldn't be the first time J-Lo has made a bold move to change the conversation. Remember her donation of $4.05 million to Palestine Aid earlier this year? That came at a time when she was receiving a lot of backlash for being out of touch with her roots. Twitter went wild with some users jokingly saying things like, I take it back, girl, you can sing. The Amazon movie is screaming Oscar, who needs a plot anyway, or character development. It seems like she knows how to play the game and this latest move could be part of a broader strategy to win back public favor. I've I never know. ever pried. Yes, I do. Yeah, so, so never would I pry. Right. What was it like the first night getting back together? I mean, <laughs> I, I can't imagine. I mean, it must be like, oh my God, we're back together after 18 years. That's like, right? <laughs> Speaking of public sentiment, it's worth noting that J-Lo's current situation is being contrasted with that of another Hollywood A-lister, Blake Lively, who has recently been in the news for all the wrong reasons. Blake, who was once America's sweetheart, has found herself labeled as the new mean girl in Hollywood. Some are speculating that this might be J-Lo's moment to shine again, to step back into the role of beloved celebrity. After all, in the world of Hollywood, there's always room for a comeback story. 
especially when the alternative is a bigger fall from grace. Feeling so lucky it's not often you get a second chance at true love. We but here's the thing. This divorce could very well backfire on J-Lo. As much as she might be trying to control the narrative, there are still plenty of people who view her actions as cold and calculated. Filing for divorce on such a symbolic date, with all the messiness of a public financial dispute and no prenup, doesn't exactly scream class act to everyone. Some might see it as a shrewd move, sure, but others might see it as a shrewd move, sure, but others might see it as another example of J-Lo being a bit too strategic for her own good. I don't think he's very comfortable with me doing all of this, but he loves me, he knows I'm an artist, and he's gonna support me in every way he can. Things that are private, I had always felt, are sacred and special because, in part, they're private. So this was something of an adjustment for me. And let's not forget about Ben in all of this. The man has been through the ringer this year, with paparazzi catching his every move. From skipping out on major events to moving out of their shared home, it's clear he's not handling the situation lightly. There's talk that he's feeling more isolated than ever, and some insiders even suggest that his kids have been the only thing keeping him grounded during this tumultuous time. It's been reported that he's been spending a lot of time with his ex-wife, Jennifer Garner, and their three children trying to maintain some semblance of normalcy amid the chaos. Interestingly, there's also been speculation about how this divorce will impact J. Lo's future projects. She had a whole slew of things planned, tours, appearances, perhaps even more ventures into the world of beauty and fashion. But with this divorce looming over her, who knows how much of that will actually come to fruition? There are already whispers that some of her upcoming projects might be put on hold as she deals with the fallout. And what about Ben? He was set to star in and produce several high-profile films, including a sequel to The Accountant. But now, his involvement in some of these projects could be in jeopardy as he navigates this personal and public mess. It's also worth considering how this divorce might affect their blended family. J-Lo has twins Max and Emma from her marriage to Mark Anthony, while Ben has three kids from his marriage to Jennifer Garner. By all accounts, the kids have gotten along well, and J-Lo has even been spotted spending time with Ben's kids on several occasions. But now, with the divorce proceedings underway, what will happen to this newly blended family? Will they be able to maintain their relationships, or will they be caught in the crossfire? Only time will tell, but it's certainly another layer to an already complex situation. Yeah, I don't, don't think anybody was more surprised than us. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it is. No, seriously, though. I mean, that's just, would you ever have imagined that no. it comes full circle, it ends up like no, this? No, you, you never could yeah. imagine something like that could happen. I'm it's happy. A, it's, it's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. I'm yeah. happy for you. I'm Thank happy you. that you're happy. There's also the issue of the couple's shared ventures. They had numerous projects lined up together from film production to fashion collaborations. J-Lo, known for her business acumen, might try to distance herself from anything connected to Ben to maintain her brand. On the other hand, Ben might be left to pick up the pieces, especially since many of these ventures were banking on their power couple status. Investors and stakeholders are likely holding their breath, waiting to see how this divorce drama will impact their financial interests. Wow. So, ladies, J-Lo being open about gushing over Ben, do you think she's making a mistake this time <laughs> going so public? Or is she just in love? She was like, all right, we got like our five kids, me and Jen, and it's it's like, it feels like hundreds of people. And now I'm screaming. Cool and my daughter just turns to me and goes, J-Lo was my stepmother. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of money, let's not forget that messy little detail about the lack of a prenup. With both of them being incredibly wealthy in their own rights, dividing their assets could get downright dirty. J-Lo has her expansive empire, which includes everything from her music and film career to her successful fragrance and clothing lines. Meanwhile, Ben, while not as diversified in his ventures, still has a solid film career and production company. The question on everyone's mind is, how much will this divorce cost them both? The drama surrounding their split isn't just limited to finances and future projects. There's also been a significant shift in how the public perceives them both. J-Lo has always been seen as a strong, independent woman who knows what she wants and isn't afraid to go after it. But now, some are questioning whether she's become too calculated, too driven by ambition and a desire to control every aspect of her image and her life. So stressful. And a month before, and I don't know if you guys know this, but 20 years ago, we were supposed to get married. I'd heard, I'd read that. And it, yeah. <laughs> and it, and it kind of all fell apart back then. And, uh -huh. and this time it was like, we still had a, I abs absolutely did, had a little PTSD. And so I was just like, what's, is this happening? Is this really happening? And Ben, on the other hand, has always been the lovable rogue, the troubled artist trying to find his way. But now he might be seen as a victim in all of this. A man who got caught up in J-Lo's whirlwind and is now left to pick up the pieces. What's happening to you two? It's been a wild couple of months. How, how are you handling all the attention, Ben, that's come with not only you personally, but, the, but this relationship? 
Uh, well, it's a little crazy, and it's a little bit more, I think, than I either of us anticipated. But it's all, um, you know, basically good, and 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 most of it seems pretty nice, and we're very happy. And she's doing great, and the album is great, and the movie's great, and she's happy, and so I'm happy, and I'm. All of these elements, the rumors, the financial drama, the lack of a prenup, the public perception, create a fascinating narrative that has captivated the public's attention. But perhaps the most intriguing aspect of all is the question of what comes next. Will J Lo and Ben manage to settle their differences amicably, or are we in for a prolonged and bitter legal battle? Will they continue to co-parent their blended family, or will the kids be caught in the middle of their drama? And how will this divorce impact their respective careers and public images in the long run? Only time will tell. But one thing is for sure: this story is far from over. As the divorce proceedings continue, no doubt more details will emerge, more rumors will spread, and the public will remain glued to their screens, eager for the next twist in this Hollywood saga. Whether you love them or hate them. There's no denying that J Lo and Ben Affleck have captured the public's imagination once again, proving that in Hollywood the drama never really ends. It's not, you know, it's, it, 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 but but that stuff does get out there, and to a certain extent, so you can't control it. And so some people think like, oh, they're peddling their personal life, or some people think, oh, how invasive this is, and how this goes. You know, you can't control all that. It's going to run the entire gamut. I can't get crazy. We're doing a life. movie together. It's called Gili. That's right. That's why we're here. It's called Gili. <laughs> Fans have had a lot to say about the recent developments in the J Lo and Ben Affleck saga, and opinions are as divided as ever. One fan comment that seems to capture the public's fascination with the dramatic timing of J Lo's actions reads, "Filing for divorce on your anniversary is petty. Let me grab the popcorn." This sentiment reflects a growing perception that J Lo's moves are more calculated than emotional, and for some, it only adds another layer of intrigue to an already sensational story. This kind of timing has certainly sparked conversation, suggesting that J Lo knows exactly how to keep the public engaged. Whether they see her as cunning or just plain dramatic, then there's the hot topic of the prenuptial agreement, or rather, the lack thereof. As one fan put it, if you have a lot of money and get married, just sign a prenuptial agreement. I do not care how confident you are in your love and how solid you think you are. Sign a prenuptial agreement. This comment highlights what many see as a glaring oversight in J Lo and Ben's marriage. Given their substantial net worths and J Lo's track record with multiple marriages, fans find it baffling that the couple didn't protect their assets. It seems that for many in the public eye, love alone isn't enough to justify such a risky financial move. Lastly, the public skepticism about J Lo's recent charitable endeavors is also evident in fan commentary. One fan cynically remarked, "Why does her donating pennies in comparison to her wealth suddenly make her a great, relatable, wonderful person that we all love now? Good for her for donating money. A real person would have just done it. She is doing public relations, and it is working. It is ridiculous to be praising her for the bare minimum she could have done." This comment underscores a feeling among some fans that J Lo's actions are less about genuine goodwill and more about managing her public image. It suggests that while her donation may have been well received by some, others see it as a strategic move to deflect criticism and regain favor in the public eye. So, what do you think, viewers? Is J Lo's decision to file for divorce on their anniversary a bold move to control her narrative, or does it come off as a calculated tactic? And do you believe the lack of a prenuptial agreement was a genuine oversight, or could there be more to the story? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for more updates on this unfolding drama. Until next time.